Alright, my gentlemen, this week is FTM clothing tips. Um, I'm filming this like days in advance because I have a feeling next week is going to be just as bad as this week was. So, I'll help this, I'll, this is Friday of last week, so. Um, so to get started, the first thing I want to say, hats. 10 of 10 would recommend hats. Normally, I would recommend not a snapback, but just a regular uh, flat build hat and wear it backwards because normally that makes it look better, just in my opinion. Other people, they like to wear it facing forwards and that's perfectly okay. If that's you, do it that way. Um, now, a lot of this will be um, whether you're out or not. I would recommend following this because I've basically done this all my life. I've, as much as I've ne I haven't been out before, because I'm, I'm only out two years now, I've basically pined in like all my life that I had a chest, so this would probably be helpful. Um, I recommend wearing dark colored shirts, because when you're binding, if you wear two sports bras, it will well, it'll show through a white shirt, um, so darker colors. If you're wearing a binder, unless it's skin tone or white, it will show through your white shirt. Even though white probably does show through a white shirt. Cause I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure it would probably go through a white shirt. Um, if you're dressing up, which I didn't prepare for that. If you're dressing up and you're wearing a white colored shirt, try, try to wear a white shirt underneath, even though you can see like, where the white shirt ends, roll the sleeves up because yeah, you look nicer with your sleeves down, but let me tell you, guys look hotter with their sleeves rolled up. Now, if it's like a wedding or something, put them down, put a jacket on, you're good. Um, moving on, what do I wanna go to? I shall go to shorts. Shorts for trans guys, whether you're out or not, shorts that go down to your knees. You can find them, if you're not out, you can find them at Target and Old Navy. Pretty cheap price, girls section, guy, guy section, whichever one. They're in both. Um, normally they're by like, oh, I used to have the hat at the company. It, I don't remember what the company is called, but I'll think of it sometime later. It's some like weird name company. I'll find it for you guys. Um, they go down to your knees. It totally works. The only reason I recommend that, because I know gender roles, guys can wear short shorts, guys can wear dresses, all that. I get that. But with, with how society is today, we're not there yet. We're not to the point where we can, where me as a guy can wear a dress and be perfectly comfortable with it. We're not there. So I really do recommend that you wear shorts down to your knees, or longer shorts at least. Um, with jeans, if you're getting them from the guys section, I actually have a pair of jeans in front of me. So with jeans, get them your size, unless, unless you're getting a pair of girls skinny jeans, then get them a size bigger. Um, with guys jeans, when you get guys jeans, if you're short like I am, See the end right here, how it's it's different than it should be. It's because I rolled it up so that it doesn't show that I'm short, but it's still, like, if you're walking by me, you won't notice it. You'll you'll think I'm a guy that's just a little short, but it doesn't show with my jeans because it looks like my jeans fit. So that always works. Um, always wear a belt. I would not recommend sagging. I know most guys sag their pants. First of all, <laughs> sagging means that you would like to get to do the do in the butt. Best way to put it. Um, so don't do that. It means that in prison. So yeah, don't do that. Um, also, sagging kind of it shows off your hips a little more because when you put on jeans, it goes above your fattest part see how this goes above the fattest part which is right here when you sag it goes to about here so it's right at that 
largest part and it shows it off more so it it kind of makes you pass less so belt and don't sag a belt I would recommend a belt because a lot of guys wear a belt unless they're sagging it shows that you're like I don't know how to say this in my opinion it shows you're more sophisticated you're more grown up um, even if your pants fit I would recommend wearing a belt just in case because there will be times where people are butts and at my old school people would try and pants people to see if they if they were a guy or were a girl so I would really recommend wearing a belt but you don't go to my old school so yeah I mean I don't think any of you do anyways to continue on so I've covered shorts pants shirts Let's move on to underwear. I got into this last week. I recommend boxer briefs because you can pack. But there's also another reason I, I recommend boxer briefs. Yes, when you wear them, this stretches out and they kind of roll up. Yes, I know that. And I know that makes people very dysphoric. But I recommend them because regular boxers, they're very loose. So when you're wearing jeans or shorts or anything really it goes up so then it doesn't really feel like you're wearing boxers plus they're hard to get in when you're wearing something else so makes no sense to me so if you're not binding uh, if you're not packing sorry if you're not packing I would still recommend boxer briefs if you're not out there is something I have let me no I'm not gonna get it it's by Hanes it looks like boxers but it's for girls I don't remember what they're called I'll figure it out for you guys if I can't figure it out by the time I post the video I'll find it put on Instagram for you guys but it's by the Hanes company I found it at Target I like Target a lot if you couldn't tell California here um, it goes down to about right here so it kind of it fits like boxer briefs and they're the exact same thing except they don't have the little pocket where the dick obviously goes in and yeah um I'm not gonna recommend shoes cuz just don't wear heels or flats like don't wear shoes that your mom would wear basically um but personally Vans or Converse thank you very much I will do socks even though this is my packing sock I would recommend socks that go more up like not stop at your ankle but go a little above the ankle for the reason that most guys wear those kinds of socks or they go higher so it kind of looks like the fuck boy look um, it goes to the middle of your calf or to your knee but normally more like anime type girls wear it to their knee I don't know <sighs> yeah let me think if there's anything else. Um, beanies. Beanies, beanies, beanies. Some people look more feminine in them because they kind of flatten everything. Some people look hella masculine in them. My personal opinion, don't risk it. I've tried beanies. I cannot pass in beanies. I cannot. I look really bad in them. So my personal opinion is do not try pass in a beanie unless you know for a fact that you're gonna look really masculine in it um, so yeah dark shirts shorts that go down to your knees roll your pants up so that they don't look like roll your pants up on the inside so it doesn't look like you're short if you are that short um, boxer briefs, socks that are above the ankle, and hats. One more thing, if you're like some guys and say, hey, I have big hips. Personally, I don't really have big hips. They're like medium. Sometimes they're big to people, sometimes they're not. But personally, this is what I do. Um, when I wear shorts, sometimes it shows off that I have bigger hips, especially when I'm wearing more of a tight-fitting shirt. One, don't wear tight fitting shirts. Wear loose shirts. Loose t-shirts, loose flannels, loose whatever. 
and I would recommend flannels, and I'll get into that next. Um, so loose-fitting shirts. If you can still see your hips are a little big because, yes, your shirt is loose, kind of like this one. It's loose like this. It's not going to press against my chest, but your hips go a little wider than the shirt does, so it does show off your hips. Get a size up. I know it's going to look a little weird up here and make you look a little larger, but it'll cover your hips and you'll feel less dysphoric about it. Now into flannels, because I didn't, I didn't think I needed to get into that, but now that I'm thinking about it more, I do. Collar shirts, flannels, whatever, whatever you think. I have collar shirts somewhere back there that I'm too lazy to go get. Um, if they have stripes, I recommend you wear them, whether they're horizontal or vertical. I did that wrong, horizontal is this way, vertical is this way, whatever, doesn't matter. Normally, they, like, give the illusion that you have a smaller chest. Also, black gives the illusion that, you, that you're smaller than you are. I learned that from my mom because she, she used to say that um, when I used to call myself fat. She used to say, wear black, and it'll give the illusion you're smaller than you are. So that works. Um, is there anything else? Jackets. I have... I have pretty big jackets because I'm a small guy. I still get smalls in men's jackets and they still are too big on me. Most of the time it fits my upper body but it goes too far on my arms. So what I do is unless it's super cold outside, which it never is out here, I roll it up. Well, I push it up, not roll it up, but I push it up to right here. And I just, I look awesome like that. I would recommend that. Some guys are fortunate enough to not be small like me. So you guys are lucky. Um, one thing I can't really change is looking disproportionate. Um, when you see me in person, which some of you have, most of you haven't, it doesn't, it looks so disproportionate with me because as a girl, I'm a, I'm a big girl in today's society because in today's society it's like you have to be a size zero to be a girl basically, which is horrible for girls nowadays, but yeah. But I'm really small for a guy, so I'm kind of in that in-between phase of being in the men's clothes and being in the boys' clothes. I'm just tall enough to be in the boys' clothes, but I'm wide enough to be in the men's clothes, if that makes sense. So it looks disproportionate when I'm wearing clothes, like shorts go down past my knees, kind of thing, that type of thing. Um, shirts fit perfectly but they tend to be tighter on me, if that makes sense. So, I don't know how to change that. I really don't. You can hem things, which I don't know how to do personally, even though I'm very good with sewing and knitting and all that. I can't hem. I'm going to have to figure it out, because being a trans guy, you're going to need that in your life. Um, I think that's it. So, yeah. Let me, I'm looking around to see if there's anything else. Running shorts. A lot of girls running shorts. I, I go to the gym. I used to play soccer, softball, basketball. I used to play sports. Running shorts were important to me. I normally, if I went, when I went to the gym, I wore a t-shirt and running shorts. Because I know a lot of guys, they, they go shirtless to the gym, or they wear a tank top to the gym. Which, now I'm thinking about it, I'm going to get into tank tops after this. But, I would recommend running shorts you get from the guys section. For the reason that the only difference between men's and women's running shorts is men's have pockets. And sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're the same size, because sometimes women's go down to your knees. I mean, if you're playing basketball, it's going to go down to your knees. But I would recommend getting the guys shorts for the reason they have pockets and that's normally how guys tell that you shopped in the guys section for running shorts. The girls section, if they're like yoga pants or, or some, whatever it's called, um, they normally have like a tiny pocket that's meant for like your uh, iPod Nano or something. Um, I really wouldn't recommend wearing yoga pants. You can wear sweats, whether they're guys or girls, I don't care. Sweats are sweats to me. Um, but I would not 
recommend wearing leggings or yoga pants because they're tight fitting and they show off your curves. If you're proud of your curves, go for it. But personally, it makes me dysphoric and so I cannot do it. Um, what, what did I say I was going to get into? Ah, um, tank tops, whatever, you, sleeveless shirts, whatever you want to call it. If you're, personally, if you're wearing a binder, don't. Unless you're like going to trans pride or gay pride or something like that, I wouldn't because it shows off that you're trans. If you've had top surgery, go for it, but most of you probably haven't had that yet. Um, the only time that I would say you can and you haven't had top surgery is if you're binding with KT tape. KT tape is safe if you use it right. Basically what you do is you take the tape and you basically push your boob, your chest to the side this way and it flattens it. Um, so that is called an open bind or KT tape binding that if you want to if you can bind that way, which you have to have like a really small chest to do so, go ahead and wear your um, your sleeveless shirts. I don't mind. Well, you can wear a sleeveless shirt, but if it's a tank top where it goes down here, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're using KT tape, go for it. Um, I think that's all I have. Again, if I think of something, I'll be sure to add it in the comments or description, whatever it's called, and if I think of anything after I post it, I will just add it on Instagram. I'm sorry I'm not really active on trans minority Instagram. I'm semi-active on just LGBT stuff Instagram. Sorry about that for my people who come from trans minority. I just, I just haven't been on it. I, I mean, I'm logged into it, but I don't use it that much. I have like a bajillion different accounts. Kidding. I'm on just LGBT stuff. My spam account, my personal account, and I think there's one other one, but yeah. Oh wait, the other one's <laughs> trans minority. Never mind. So yeah. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. That's everything I can think of now. And now I'm thinking I might have something else. I do have something else bed clothes. I know most of you guys don't really care what you wear to bed. I personally don't really mind what I wear to bed. If you're going to a sleepover, I know some guys sleep shirtless. I just sleep in a sports bra and running shorts and boxers, of course. Um, if you're going to a sleepover, unless it's other trans guys, I would recommend wearing a shirt of some kind. For the reason, if it's other trans guys, you'll feel more at home for the reason that, one, there are other trans guys, two, they know what you're going through. If it's cis guys, I'd wear a shirt because they are flat chested and that will make you a little dysphoric. It'll make me dysphoric, so, and I've never, well, yes, I have, never mind. Um, if you're having a sleepover with, with girls, whether they're trans girls or cis girls, I would still wear a shirt because you're like, because you look at them, and trans girls do have a chest if they're on estrogen like Ashley. If they're not, then they're going to be shirtless and you guys will be like jealous of each other. Um, but if you're with a cis girl, you want to keep your shirt on because you're going to be like, wow, she's a girl and she has a chest. That makes me feel bad. So you want to wear a shirt to give yourself the illusion that you don't have a chest. Not to, not to like, I don't know how to say this, but not to hide it from them. Hide it from yourself is what I'm saying. Um, that's all I have for today. If I, again, if I think of anything else, because I keep thinking of more, I will post it in the description below or on one of my LGBT pages, whether it's trans, one of my pages, whether it's trans minority or just LGBT stuff. Those are the two I posted on. I'll, I'll put it down in one of my pictures. Alright, you guys, have a good week. Stay tuned for the other guys this week. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.